In this video we'll learn to understand probability on a scale from zero being impossible to one being certain and use probabilities to compare the likelihood of events. So as we said zero is impossible if something is impossible that's not going to be happening. So that the word that would go in there is impossible. And if the probability of something happening is one, that means it's certain. And 50-50, 50% is even or equal chance. And between impossible and even chance is something that is called unlikely so something around 25% is unlikely so the chances that it won't happen are greater than the chances of it happening so 25% if you look at it compared there is 75% chance that it's not going to happen only 25 that is going to happen and likely is when those chances are about 75%. So most likely it will happen, but it may not as well. So we write probability in different ways. This is the likelihood. So we express likelihood in these words, impossible, likely, even or equal chance, likely, certain. Whereas the probability itself will use the scale and we write it as a decimal, so zero to one, one whole. So that would be in the middle be 0 0.5, which is 50% or half. And here 25% or 0 0.25 as a decimal and 0 0.75 as a decimal as well. And as a percentage, so we said decimal percentage, so 0%, 25%, 50%, 75 75%, 100%. So that's why something is impossible, because the chances of what happening are 0% or just 0 as a decimal. And if it's certain, it's got 100% chances of happening or just 1 as a decimal. If it hasn't got a percentage next to it and it's a 1, it means a whole a hundred percent and we also express probability as a fraction so this here would be one quarter this one would be half this one would be three quarters and of course this is four quarters or a whole and the is this is just zero so what we'll be looking at now is some kind of events, things that could happen and put them on this scale based on the probability of them happening. So here is an event, probability of raining tomorrow without checking the weather forecast. So you haven't checked it, you don't know what is the probability of it raining or not. And this is what you think. It could rain, but it probably won't. So, the chances of raining are 50-50 without looking at the weather forecast. It could rain, but it may not as well. So, without checking the weather forecast, I'd put it here. The So, it's 50% or half or 0 0.5, the probability of raining tomorrow without checking the weather forecast. Now we have this probability of a six sided dice rolling on three. So there I have it. What are the possible numbers? We would have either one, two, three, four, five or six. So the 
possible outcomes are one, two, three, four, five, or six. So there are six possible outcomes. We're looking at the probability of the dice rolling on three. So which one is that? It's here. That there is only one three in there, so the probability of it is one out of one, two, three, four, five, six. So one sixth, one six, or one out of six. So where do you position that on a scale? One out of six. So this is a quarter, but one sixth is less than a quarter. So I'd say about here. It's rather unlikely. So I'll place it here. And I will now look at a couple more examples. Now we've got the probability of a six-sided dice rolling on more than three. Which ones of these numbers are more than three? More than three is four. So three is not included because it's more than three, four, five, and six. So the one, two, three out of six possible outcomes. So three, six, which is same as a half. So I would place this here. Probability of a six-sided die, die rolling on more than three. Now, we've got probability of six-sided dice rolling on seven. Now, we said six-sided dice has the numbers one, two, three, four, five, six possible. Is seven a possibility? No, it's not. For that reason, we're saying that seven is impossible. So, the probability of this happening is zero. So I'll place it here next to the impossible position or under the impossible position. And if I look at this one, it says this fair spinner has three equal sections. What is the probability of landing on red, which is marked with R? So it has three possible outcomes so when you spin it when is it where is it going to fall or how many times will it fall on red and as you can see all of these three possibilities or three sections are marked with r which means red so no matter how many times you roll it it's still going to fall on red so always red 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 so probability of this happening is certain, 100%. You roll the spinner, it will fall always on red. So it's got to go to the certain part of the number line or the scale. Now I've got two more. Now, if I look at this spinner, the spinner has eight equal sections, as you can see. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The sections are either red, blue, green, or white. And we need to find the probability of landing on white. So, there are eight possibilities altogether so the fraction is out of eight how many are actually white so we've got white here and we haven't got any more whites so it's one out of eight so one out of eight where is that position in this positioned in this scale it's smaller than a quarter but it's more than zero so i would put it there in the middle so it is unlikely and the probability of it happening is one eighth 
or 0.125 or 12.5 percent and we've got now a pie chart which shows information about how year 10 students travel to school so we've got walk cycle car and bus a student from year 10 is chosen at random what is the probability the student walks to school so if you look at this it's got a 90 degree angle in it which suggests that this is a quarter of the circle so we're looking at the probability of a quarter or 25 percent or 0 0.25 so where is that that is spot on here so a quarter would go over there so we've kind of spread out or we've positioned quite a few probabilities and events or probabilities of events and we've compared them with each other so if you look at this the probability of the first spinner fall, um, falling or landing on red is much greater than the probability of a six-sided dice rolling on more than three because this is certain this has a 50 percent chance and again if you compare this probability of raining tomorrow without checking the weather forecast to the probability of a student traveling um, going to school on foot walking that is a smaller probability so this is a this has a smaller probability than the probability of raining tomorrow without che checking the weather forecast so we've compared, we've placed them on the scale and we've looked at the probability scale from zero to one, the different words that describe the likelihood of events. And I hope this helps you work out probabilities in real life.